Thank you. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Secretary Cotpatilla, Secretary Rinal Bendras, Ms. Belinda Ocampo, Mr. Robinson Descanso, Administrator Dita Bueno, members of the Energy Regulatory Commission, participants of the International Conference of Retail Markets, fellow workers, government, honor guests, kami namal ko po ang kababayan, magandang hapon po sila. Kung napapasin niyo, Secretary Almendras, si medyo namamayan at namumutla dahil pareho kami walang almusal at tanghalian itong araw na ito. Sana ho'y kayo nakakain na nakain na ho kayo. So kayo ho'y ayos na. Maintindihan niyo sana yung sasabihin ko sa inyo itong araw na ito. Itong ating commissioner sa ERC na ating pong kaibigan, para malukot ang mukha kanya. Sabi ko man, ang lodgestone, nung magpapakasigla ng ating energy sector, dapat nakangiti yata tayo. At ang ating undersecretary ng energy, ganun. Ba't kaya sila malungkot? Baka ho siguro kinakabahan sila na yung pangako sa atin uh, sa restoration ng kuryente sa maapektado ng Pablo ay hindi maabot. Pero ako po buo ko piyansa ko maabot natin yan. Anyway, our conference today comes at a challenging time for our country. Just four days ago, I was in Compostela Valley and Davao Oriental to see how things were on the ground in the wake of Typhoon Pablo and to listen to the stories of people who were affected. Our national agencies were well prepared for the typhoon, but we realized that at times, even the best preparations will not be enough without cohesive cooperation with the LGUs. And that is something we are working on moving forward. And to be honest with you, I really could sympathize with some of our heads of our LGUs. In one particular area, the last time they suffered a typhoon of the same magnitude happened in 1912. So it is, I think, safe to say that there are no people who are, have living memory of such an event. And despite all of the warnings, it really does become difficult to accept all of these warnings given that they are not in the realm of your um, consciousness. One governor, in fact, asked me, is this how it is in Luzon every time there's a typhoon? Anyway. That is another topic. Right now, our administration, along with the Filipino people, are hard at work to get those affected back on their own two feet. Soldiers and policemen are manning the hardest hit areas to maintain order and to assist in rescue and relief work. Our social workers are spending long hours in various evacuation centers, and volunteers are lining up to provide the needed support in order to restore normalcy. Before the end of the year, our energy secretary Igot Petilla has committed to restore power in Compostela Valley and Davao Oriental. And that is despite, of, despite the damage wrought and even the main transmission lines which we saw were on the ground already. But while the immediate concern is restoring supply to the affected areas, we must also realize that the challenge that follows is making sure that power is affordable, particularly for the less fortunate. Our administration has been addressing this in June of last year. I signed a bill extending the lifeline electricity rates. Lifeline rates are lower rates charged to customers who consume less than 100 kilowatt hours per month. We need to undertake programs like this to make our people less vulnerable to sudden increases in the prices of commodities, especially, so that ultimately they are given a legitimate chance to lift themselves out of poverty. Over the long term, we also want to promote a system that will naturally keep power prices reasonable, if not preferably low. And this is the rationale for the wholesale electricity spot market. WSM will not magically lower electricity prices overnight, but it is a sensible long-term solution. It encourages competition and saves consumers from being at the mercy of a single company with monopoly power. It allows them to select the retailers who offer the most benefit. While it won't happen immediately, an efficient WSM will increase competitive pressures and will play a large part in lowering the cost of electricity in this country and increasing our competitiveness. As long as we are able to ensure a level playing field, then the market will do its work. The upcoming implementation of the retail competition and open access can only help. We can look forward to more players in the market, which will move us even closer to more reliable and fairly priced energy for both people and businesses. This is all the more important at the time when an honest and transparent government has breathed new life into our economy. Inter international organizations and publications have continually expressed their newfound confidence in our country. Every so often, you see an article in the international media talking about how the Philippines is Asia's bright spot or how we're becoming Asia's new tiger. 
The most recent piece of good news I've read is the Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index for 2012, in which we have risen, I'm told, 24 spots from 129 last year to 105. These votes of confidence have reflected in our economy. In the third quarter of 2012, our GDP grew by 7.1%, beating even the best estimates, including ours. Our stock market has recorded 59 record highs. I am hoping that this will be broken further this afternoon in 29 months. That, I'm told again by more mathem mathematically able people, is an average of more than twice a month. Although the most impressive gains have been made this year alone, with 36 all-time highs recorded in 2012. Moving forward, the plan is to sustain and build on this momentum, and that begins in events like this. We have made magnificent progress, I think, along the straight path, but there are still a number of significant challenges up ahead. In the energy sector alone, we have to continue our good work, bringing light to far-flung areas, maximizing renewable sources of energy, and making sure that enough companies invest in our energy sector to keep up with the increased demand brought about by our booming and hopefully continually booming economy. The talks you will have here today will be key in meeting these challenges. During this conference, may I encourage you to engage in genuine exchanges with one another. Share your ideas, but remember to make room for the ideas of others. I know that the plans and the agreements that will make WESM and the RCOA a continuing success are just waiting to be found in the conversations that will happen today. As you work, your hardest to move your sector forward and to ensure a reliable energy supply for this country, so will your government, and so will the Filipino people. The past week has been very difficult for us, but our countrymen have always shown that no storm can ever dampen the spirit of the Filipino. So I ask every person in this room and every citizen of this country, let us continue our pursuit of excellence in our respective fields. I am certain that as long as we fulfill our individual responsibilities towards the collective task of building this nation, this country of ours will always make it through the storm and emerge stronger under the broad light of day. Thank you, good day, and we really wish you a very fruitful conference.